Hi everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the Velvet Lounge Life. I have arrived in New York um, for the filming of the three or four television shows that I discussed in a previous video. I don't know which order these videos are going to go in, um, so forgive me if they're out of order. Um, I am staying at the Doubletree Hilton and this is one of the Hilton Honors rooms. Um, I am traveling alone, so I literally asked for something that was just quick and easy and simple. Oh my God, there I am. <laughs> so where's a little placard? Hilton Honors room. And so this room was with tax, it was about $250, $249, $248, so we'll just round it up to $250 a night. And this is the bathroom. Um, they're using Crabtree and Ellen products, which I do like. Um, if you stay at a Hilton, they do tend to use products that are better than just some normal stuff or whatever. But a wee bathroom, this is the vanity. That's all there is. <laughs> it is so small. Um, there's your light fixture. But, yep, that's a bathroom. And then down through here, when you enter, there are two. These are supposed to be queen-size beds, but I know these are full-size beds. Um, our daughter... <laughs> I think when she was eight, we purchased her a queen size bed and it is way larger than this. I have a California King, so that may be two of these beds put together plus some, but these are, you know, two twin size beds, which are fine. One person per, be per bed, I mean, that totally works. Or if you're coupling up, there's enough room for all of your shenanigans as well. And the room is small. I mean, you're not staying in a suite. Um, initially, when I was going to stay just for one day, I was going to um, use a suite. But because I will be in and out over the next three days or so, I decided just to get, like I said, what I, I think that this is a standard room. I don't know if that's true or not, but this is um, the Hilton Double Tree. And this is in the Chelsea area of Manhattan. Oh yeah, always bring your Lysol and clean everything. I know people come into these rooms and they clean nothing. I clean, I probably spend like 20 minutes cleaning before <laughs> I allow myself or my family members to like, you know, touch stuff. Because hey, I don't know what happened in this room. It has this wee little wardrobe which once again is more than adequate. It does have a safe system. It's really dark, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a safe. I showed you the view. Yep, this is my view, other buildings. But if you um, were on, I think the front of the building, which is that way, then I believe you can see the Empire State Building, but I mean, they're building a building right there. That copper looking orangey stuff is a building that's being built. So as you know, every inch of Manhattan practically has been built. You could look at how they squeezed buildings in between buildings. There's no, probably not even enough room for a human being to walk, through, you know, in between those buildings. That's just the way it is. That's the big city of dreams, water towers everywhere. It is what it is. So I just wanted to give you a quick review of the Hilton Guard, uh, wait, the Hilton Double Tree in Manhattan, Chelsea. I was going to stay at the Hilton Garden Inn, but because I had um, been requested for two more shows on another, the very next day, I had to extend my stay. And because of that, I had to move from the Hilton Garden Inn to this particular location. 
So initially this is not where I would have been staying and that's fine. I've stayed at both and I mean, like I said, they're fine. Um, the only thing I will say, and this is a very, this is the second time this has happened, is always double check your toilets in any of these hotels. It's the second time that, you know, I put on my blue, yeah, I'm not joking, you guys, take off my jacket, I put on my blue gloves, I break out the Lysol, and I kind of go to work because, yeah, I guess I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. Um, and the toilet wasn't completely clean. And that's the second time that's happened that we stayed at a Hilton property. So, and it was obvious. It wasn't like you had to like look around with a Q-tip or anything, but I do have Q-tips. <laughs> I do have Q-tips. I did not use Q-tips, but I do have them. But anyway, um, I will soon be going down to the lobby. I might just go down there anyway right now, just so you guys can get an idea more so of what this place is like if you ever decide to stay here. Um, and I'm staying here on a, um, I checked in today, which is Sunday. I will be checking out on Tuesday. So that kind of gives you an idea. Like if you stay here the weekend or part of the weekend, obviously Monday, Tuesday, um, sometimes Mondays cost more this time. They didn't cost more. So that was a good thing. Um, what else is there to tell you? Really, that's it. I mean, there is valet parking. I suggest that you use it because why do you want to go around Manhattan trying to find your own parking? I have no idea why anyone would do that. It's worth an extra like $15, $20 to make them responsible for your vehicle. And what I always do is I give the guy like a $10 tip up front when he's taking, it's more important that you tip up front than it is on the back end because you want them to park your car safely and you also want to, you know, make sure they give you good service. So if you start out by giving them some extra cash up front, that always helps. And then when we check out, I usually just add five. So they end up with like $15, but I think it's more important to give more up front. So let's go downstairs and see what's happening. I don't know how long this video is going to run for, but I wanted to, actually I'm going to put the do not disturb on there. And you can actually have your key work from your telephone. Um, so you can have a digital key when you check in. You can, they also have, of course, the standard like plastic digital keys Either way, both works. Oh, look, you have your own peephole. And I like the fact that they cover it so that people can't look in. So you have a peephole cover on your peephole. Do not disturb. And so the elevator is right here. So that shows you like the size, oops, I don't wanna go down. The size of this building. It's very square. Go over here. And this is the whole floor. Over here you have beverages, ice. And because it's a double tree, you they give you cookies and bottles of water when you check in. So there are 27 floors that are that people have access to we'll say anyway in this building this is considered to be the penthouse floor and for i think it was 20 or 30 dollars per night more i could have stayed on that floor because i am a oops, oops you're going down <laughs> hilton honors club member but it's optional a lobby are you going yeah. there yes. yep there you go and it's as little as $15 per night um, to upgrade if you're at a certain membership level. So we're in the lobby. The check-in was super easy. The staff was really, really nice. They have a restaurant here. Pretty artwork. My dress is similar to that, but not as long, which is really odd. 
So this is, they have a bar. The Wee Cafe area, it is small. I don't know what's happening outside. Can we even go out there? Let's check. Hello. Hello. No, I'm just looking around. So this is, I don't know. Oh, this is where they do the breakfast. <laughs> decorated for Halloween and the lobby is tiny and as you saw the lobby is very small I can and there's and look they're doing construction out here so um, and it's called Chelton's bar that bar and grill area and let's see if I can get a picture of the sign I don't know if I can. Well, a little piece of the sign. <laughs> the D-O part of the U. So, one of the things I will be doing is looking for food. But anyway, that's what it looks like um, here at the Double Tree by Hilton. I will be reviewing a lot of Hilton properties over the next, I'm going to say, couple of years or so. That's a building you can see, and what you see in gray from here to there, that's it. So that's why there's only a few rooms on each floor. So thank you for tuning in. Um, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you stayed at a Hilton and which was your favorite. Our favorite was the Park Soul in Orlando. It is a resort and it is like a 99 diamond result resort. It's probably one of the nicest properties I've been on and I've been on hundreds. So, and plus they treat us like kings, queens and our little princess. Thank you, take care, have a good day. And remember that health is wealth.